Hi guys and welcome back to Vape City Reviews and today we're going to do something a little bit different. This is an issue that I see cropping up all over social media quite regularly and it does become a bit of a fucking pain in the hole for a lot of people. So I'm going to show you how I open short fill bottles in order to put in your nicotine. Yes. <laughs> So here we are down below with a 100ml short fill bottle, two nicotine shots. So the problem that a lot of people run into is this. Okay, here we have the dreaded nib of the short fill bottle, which you have to praise off in order to add your two nicotine shots. Now, a lot of people will get in underneath the rim here with a knife and try and praise the lid off that way, which can be quite cumbersome and um, yeah, also quite dangerous. What I do is get yourself a pair of pliers and then what you want to do is put the pliers onto the nib. Now, you don't want to squeeze so hard, whereas you're going to actually crush that nib just enough so it's going to hold the nib in position. Then you want to use the pliers as a wedge. So you're going to go in this type of motion. Rather than trying to lift up, you're going to use the pliers as a wedge while gripping onto that nib. Just like this. And there we have it. And if you look closely at that nib, that is not damaged in any way, shape or form. So, you're now free to add your nicotine. I now also use the same method with my nicotine shots. Exactly the same process again with the nicotine shots. Now these are a lot easier, but again you squeeze. Just enough pressure there, just enough pressure so you can hold on to the nib. And you want to wedge. That's a one off. Same again for the second nicotine shot. Just enough pressure on the nib. And wedge. Two off. Then it's a simple matter of adding your nicotine into the solution. So, we will get back up top and then, um, yeah, get the hell out of here. So guys, that is how I basically take off the lids for my bottles to add my nicotine shots. And then, once you get your nib back in place, all you want to do is set it in position, two fingers on either side, and push down. And done. That is your nicotine shots added. As I say, guys, you do not want to squeeze so tight where you're going to actually crush the nib, but just enough so you can hold the bottle in position. Simple as that. And then you're going to use the wedge technique. That's what I'm calling it, the wedge technique. It's my technique. So, squeeze and wedge. Simple as that. Um, it's not 100% effective. You know, some of them bottles can be, some of the top sand bottles can be really, really tight on there. But I do find that the most effective method in the long run to get your nicotine shots into the bottle. You can also snip the top of these bottles and then use your nicotine shots straight down the center of the nib. But again, you might have some issues there. If your atomizer has a small intake hole for the juice outlets and you're snipping the nib of this, you're gonna you're gonna struggle to refill your tank. So I find that using the pliers as a type of pivot wedge pivot! Pivot! is the best method so far for me. Yes. So guys, that's it. Um, anything else that anybody wants any tips, any ideas on? Hit me up in the comments, give me a wee shout down below, and yeah, we'll see if we can find a solution. Something that works for everybody. The nicotine shot thing is a nightmare. I see it all over social media, all over YouTube. People sort of just struggling to get the tops off them bottles for their short fills. Um, so hopefully that will help some of you guys out there. Okay, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I will throw it somewhere down there. And the link to my last video will be somewhere over here. And yeah, guys, that's me. Till the next time. You have a good one. Bye!